Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, I woke up to a couple of prayer requests. And so we're going to lift these uh, sisters up in this prayer. But this prayer is for everybody. This prayer is for everyone. Everybody's noticing big, sudden changes in the world. We're going to talk about it in the next two videos I do this morning. But um, one of them is something I talked about pretty extensively last year. Uh, but the world wasn't quite ready for it and didn't pay it a lot of attention. But now everybody's very focused on it. So I'm going to probably do a reshare. Oh, some information. Oh, excuse me. Um, so it's important for us to stay focused on the truth. We're going to have problems. Things are going to pop up. There's going to be issues. But we keep the Lord in the forefront of all those things. Because these things are all temporary. These things will come and they'll go. We'll have problems with family, friends. We'll have health problems. All these things are going to come and go. And, and it's not permanent. But being with the Lord in eternity is permanent. And we focus on that. None of these other things matter. We learn to just let it melt away. I didn't get to look uh, in depth at, at one of the prayer requests. Because I wanted to get morning prayer out. Um... We're just going to pray over it anyway. And and the, like I said, this is for all you guys. For all of you, because I know everybody has some struggle in their life. We're going to give glory to God. We're going to give glory to God. And we're going to pray for you guys at the same time. Let's get into it. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ with strong intercessory prayer for our brothers and sisters. I usually reserve this for evening prayer, but Father, this morning, these petitions came up. And this is, I'm going to name two names, but this is for everyone. Because everyone's struggling. Everyone is, is wrestling with things. And Father, I ask in Jesus' precious name that you, you put those issues down. Give them boldness and build them up. Give them peace. Help them through these issues that they're going through. Give them understanding on what's happening around them. So they won't be worried. And they'll trust in you and trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. This morning I lift up our sister Christina Akers and I lift up Fiery Girl. They're both suffering through issues, health issues, there's financial issues. Our sister Kim Mosley, has uh, had we lifted her up. Several other brothers and sisters that we've lifted up, health issues, financial issues. Um, Lord, I've seen you active in the prayers we've put out for these people. For these brothers and sisters in Christ and you've changed lives continue to do so continue to bless them continue to lift them up continue to change their world that way they'll glorify you and they'll have a testimony to share to help other people understand mm -hmm. uh, this morning I'd like to pray Psalm 34 the happiness of those who trust in God I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked at him, they looked to him, and were radiant, and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on, a right, on the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, 
and save such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of all of them. He guards all his bones. No, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Father, we believe this psalm. We know this is you, because out of the abundance of the love you have for us, you care for us. <laughs> We may have problems, we may see things rise up, but we know that if we put our trust in you, you will deliver us from these things. Look, Father, I have personal experience from it. I, I've seen the times in our lives that you've done this, even before I was saved. And I knew then it was you. I, couldn't, I could not know anything else. Help our brothers and sisters to, to be at peace with their situation. To know that it is not a negative Sometimes we have to go through these things. And that's okay, because as long as we trust you, you will deliver us from these things. As long as we have faith in you, you will fix these issues in our lives. And I pray that my brothers and sisters come to that trust and that faith. And you give them peace and stability and understanding over all these issues. That they may wait on you and wait on your answer to their prayers. And I do pray, Father, in Jesus' name, you answer all their prayers. It is in Jesus' mighty name we praise you, we honor you, and we glorify you with what we do. We give thanks to you for the mercy you've shown us, for all the things that you've shown us these last days, showing us what's going on around the world, making us aware of the evil that's running rampant, the times and the seasons so that we will watch for our Lord to come. Father, we thank you for the little things you do that we don't catch. We thank you most of all for your love, and for your mercy and your grace. Bless you, Father, and thank you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. Listen, brothers and sisters, it's going to get hard. There are gonna, you're going to see things, you're going to endure things that are going to take a lot of your strength away from you. That's okay. Because that's normal. Go read Psalm 34 again. He talks about all this in here. It's normal for us to have to go through some things. But that's a good thing because if God is in your life, working in your life, you know that you're saved. He doesn't work in the lives of the wicked. He lets them do their own thing. He lets them <laughs> he lets them suffer on their own. But in our lives, he works with us. It may seem like something negative now, but in reality, it's not. In reality, it's something far grander. You just got to hang on a little longer. Recognize what it is and put your head down and weather the storm. Get to the other side of it. But make sure you're in prayer to the Lord over these things. He hears your cries. What does it say down here? Verse 18. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as has a contrite spirit. He's watching. He knows your troubles and he will deliver you. It may not be an instantaneous deliver, delivery, but he will deliver you from these. Have faith. Have strength. And have patience. I speak from very detailed experience on these things. I love you guys. I bless you all in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys in the next video.